Alrighty, we're going to breeze through some more female here. This lovely model, one of the best. Uh, we can look at our uh, vessels up here. We have our common iliac artery and vein on the right. Common iliac vein on the left. This would be your inferior vena cava. Right ureter, right ovarian artery and vein. So as major muscle, longissimus thoracis, iliacus, urinary bladder, uterus with the endometrium, myometrium, cervical canal, internal os, external os, vagina, urethra, rectum, rectouterine pouch, vesicouterine pouch, Oops. uterus covered by the broad ligament, Here's your ovary, fallopian tube, fimbriae, ovarian ligament, round ligament coming towards the front. Here's the fundus of the uterus, body. Take this out, you can see levator ani, coccygeus, that one's new, we haven't seen that one on another model yet. This is all levator ani here. Here's your internal anal sphincter around the anus. Sacral plexus with your piriformis. Internal iliac artery and vein. External iliac artery and vein. Superior gluteal artery. Inferior gluteal artery. Internal pudendal artery obturator artery and obturator nerve. This is obturator internus, making that U-turn here. Internal anal sphincter, external anal sphincter. Vagina. This is the hymen right over the vaginal opening urethra, deep transverse perennial muscle, sphincter urethrae next to the urethra, deep transverse perennial muscle outside of that. The whole thing is your genital diaphragm, labia minora, labia majora, clitoris, This is the bladder and uterus that I took out, flipping it over. You can see the urethra, urinary bladder, vagina, rectum. You can see your ovarian artery and vein here. So that's part of the suspensory ligament at this point. Ovary, fimbriae, fallopian tube, Round ligament, ovarian ligament, broad ligament. <coughs> Piriformis, superior gluteal artery, inferior gluteal artery, sciatic nerve, internal pudendal artery and pudendal nerve going under the sacred tuberous ligament. Obturator internus. Pudendal nerve, you can see all the branches here of that, and internal pudendal artery. External anal sphincter. Ischiocavernosus muscle. Transverse. Superficial transverse peroneal muscle. Drew a blank for a second and your bulbospongiosis muscle here. Okay, I wanted to put this together and do this, do a couple things again. Here's your median sacral artery, ovarian, left ovarian artery and vein, left ureter, 
left common, iliac artery and vein. Here's the same structures on the right. This is all levator ani, coccygeus muscle. Inferior gluteal artery on both sides, internal pudendal artery on both sides, obturator artery and nerve. You can see those poking out of the obturator foramen here and here. So as major iliacus, piriformis underneath the sacral plexus there. There's other stuff too, but we already covered it. <coughs> Some muscles from this year view. Here's your levator ani here. Down here you can see superficial transverse perennial on both sides now. Ischiocavernosis on both sides, right along the ischium. On this side, bulbospongiosis muscle, but on this side they've taken that off and you can see the greater vestibular gland, this little one in pink, and the bulb of the vestibule in gray. So that would be covered by that bulbospongiosis muscle. And then right here you can actually see the deep transverse perennial because that's going to be on, you know, kind of in between this triangle of muscles here. And remember, that's what this looks like from this side in sagittal section. <laughs> or urogenital diaphragm, deep transverse perineus, it has a little 31 on it. And then uh, sphincter urethrae is right around the urethra.